Ivarbradine is more potent than metoprolol in improving hemodynamic parameters. Mitral stenosis is a valvular heart disease which is characterized by the narrowing of the orifice of the mitral valve of the heart. It is studied both at rest and during exercise. Ivarbradine belongs to a class of miscellaneous cardiovascular agents. It has been used for the treatment of chronic stable angina pectoris in the patients with normal sinus rhythm. Metoprolol is a beta blocker and is used to treat angina and hypertension. It is also used to treat or prevent heart attack. The main objective of the study was to evaluate the effects of ivabradine and metoprolol on hemodynamic parameters and effort intolerance in patients with mitral stenosis and normal sinus rhythm and to compare the effects of ivabradine and metoprolol. The patients who had mild to moderate mitral stenosis were included in the study. Patients with acute decompensated heart failure, ischemic heart disease, congenital heart disease, class 3 or higher, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, were excluded from the study. Paired T test was used for statistical analysis. A total of 34 patients who had mild to moderate mitral stenosis were selected for the study. The study design was approved by Institutional Review Board. All the patients were asked to sign the written informed consent for the study. The patients were divided into two groups. Group A was assigned to Ivarbradine, 5 mg, twice daily over two weeks, increased to maximum dose of 10 mg, twice daily over two weeks, and then continued for four weeks. Group B was assigned to metoprolol, 50 mg, twice daily over two weeks, increased to a maximum dosage 100 mg, twice daily over two weeks, and continued for next four weeks. A repeat clinical evaluation, exercise stress test, and 2D and Doppler echo surdiogram were performed at the end of six weeks. There was a significant decrease in heart rate at resting, increase in heart rate while doing exercise, and decrease in mean gradient across mitral valve and pulmonary artery systolic pressure. Total exercise duration after both Ivarbradine and metoprolol therapy was statistically significant, but to a similar extent. Ivarbradine and metoprolol had beneficial effects in the patients with mild to moderate mitral stenosis and normal sinus rhythm. The study proved that ivarbradine was more potential than metoprolol regarding the improvement in symptomatic status, exercise parameters, and hemodynamic parameters.